Hello, hello, this is K1K13, and I'm back again for another video. But before I start this one, I want to let you know that I did release Jotaro Part 6 in my last video. So if you didn't catch that, go ahead and go check that out for me real quick. You know, give it that thumbs up, give it that good watch time. Uh, but today we will be reviewing Giorno Giovanna Wonder Festival that released in 2013 in the month of February. And at the time, there was only made 3,500 units were made. And they sold for 3,800 yen. Right now, all you can just find them in the aftermarket for like 80 to 150 USD. Honestly, if you pay over 100, uh, it's not 100 bucks is okay. Like 150, definitely not the best. So in my opinion, this is the best color that they have released so far. Uh, Geo Black is definitely in contestant. I think I did make a video. <laughs> I can't even remember. It's been a long time since I made that video. But I did say I think this Giorno was the best one. Anyways, the box color matches the his fit, which is the, the main thing that Medicos usually does is the box matches whatever he's wearing or the color of the figure. And it's just a normal size box. This is what you get in the box. Okay, it's not it's not a lot, but it's better than some figures where they don't get shit. Uh, for example, the hand. That's why I didn't want to review them because those accessories are pretty bad. Uh, I'm not sure if the W piece is... Because nowadays, the Wonder Festival pieces come outside the box. But I think this one came inside because they showed a picture of it in the back of the box. Which is rare where they show the WF piece in the back. But that means it did come inside. I don't know. It really doesn't matter. But yeah, like I said, I think it did come inside the box. Uh, Geo got some decent accessories, which is cool. Medicos, a lot of figures, like I said, don't get that much accessories. The plate says, I, Giorno, have a dream. Kind of corny, but that's what it says. Um, they should have at least used, like, a, like they should have utilized one of the accessories and put it in the back of the promo the back of the box like a promo picture in the back that would have been nice so you, at least you have an idea of what you could do with the accessories i think they might have done it in a different picture if i could find it up pull it up on the video uh applying accessories like i said it's not it's fun and the payoff might not be worth it because it's kind of simple um accessories but you i think you'll have fun i think you'll maybe get some good pictures in there
So in general, the heads do look pretty good. Uh, the only complaint is the neutral head. It looks like the pupils aren't really, uh, they're not centered. One of them might be a little bit to the side. I mean, I'm, here's the video, you'll see it for yourself. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if it's just my figure or hopefully it is just my figure and that nobody else gets the bonk eyes. Uh, but the screaming head looks way better than the neutral face. It's usually the other way around, which is odd for medicals, but that's just how it is. Uh, swapping out hands is pretty easy. The figures, the hands go in. Most of the hands, the holes, you don't have to struggle to like plug it in. But I did notice one of the hands do fall off kind of easily. So hopefully, like I said, it's just my figure. Uh, and biggest upset about Medicos, or second biggest upset of uh, the Giorno Giorno that Medicos makes is the neck gap. It looks pretty bad. And if you tend to like uh, take pictures and, and you have them look them up, it's gonna look pretty bad. I mean, maybe you can do some photoshopping, you know, chop off that little piece. So, biggest, another upset about uh, Medico's Giorno Giorno is that the coat at the bottom, you know, how it goes over the thighs. It hinders, it kind of hinders the movement when you're trying to, like, put the figure, uh, the legs more higher. But, I mean, that's just, a, 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 a lot of part five is like that, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, they really nailed down how skinny most of the part five figures are and you all know like this dude looks exactly like he came out of the book you know the manga um, not much app crunch I mean I feel like a lot of medicos figures don't have a lot of app crunch but uh, QC is a little bit better uh, not much probably because back then they didn't really produce that much so now it's just those you know the toy manufacturers weren't they didn't have that much pressure when you do like a uh, movement on the figures you can tell you can like uh when you look for example you lift up that chest piece or that torso piece the continuation of the figure it still matches so there's not money uh, you know if they lift it up and there was nothing there of the scope of the figure yeah, that looks pretty bad but this one it does look good Forgot to mention the curls on his hair look amazing. Um, I'm pretty sure those were probably hard as hell to scope by the time you know they made those. Also, the heart-shaped chest part, you know, they sculpted it really good. Not much to say about the pants. It's just actually kind of the pants, like uh, you know how the bottom of your when it gets to your shoe, it kind of looks like it's uh, a little too big for you. So like, they drew like that little, you know, the little crevices. That's pretty nice of that. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the shoes have some good riz, and then right here, this is just going to be the articulation test. One thing that I did forget to mention was uh, when you pop on the uh, screaming head onto Giorno, um, you don't really hear the pop, and my first attempt, the head wouldn't stay on, like if I swiveled it, but you know, I put a little more pressure on the head, and it did give me that good swivel, so just a heads up. このジョルノジョバーナには夢がある。this figure is good i would definitely recommend 
like if you were gonna buy a geo and you were undecisive about it and you didn't mind which color you wanted uh this would be the figure to go to there's not much of a difference between the different ones besides the speech plate that's the only thing that's different about it but yeah that's the that would be the best of the, all the geos unless you want to do like the emo squad then get the black geo and then third option would definitely be like pink Dio. I mean pink pink geo uh you could probably i put a picture in here where you throw like yellow hair on top of geo the way you can get an idea how it looks like i think i threw the pink head from the pink figure on this one uh, i give this figure a b plus he's not much of a fun figure but he definitely looks pretty good so in pictures he looks pretty great uh that's been it uh, thanks for everybody for uh sticking around and you know, my numbers keep going up and up, and I appreciate everybody that keeps sticking around. Maybe I'll do a giveaway at 2,000. Maybe I'll do Jude 6. But uh, at this point, I feel like uh, it'll be a, uh, oversaturated people entering the, uh, what do you call it, the giveaway. So, yeah, and I think I'm only going to do probably United States. Sorry, my boy, Yanasui and PK. PK is always complaining about customs. But uh, yeah, thanks everybody tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.